What's up guys, today I want to give you guys a little update on what's been going on and talk about a few topics to do with my channel. So first, this month I'm switching my partnership over from the current trash can partnership I have to a good partnership which is Curse. So back in the day, you couldn't change your partnership unless the contract went out and you uh, cancelled your contract, which my cancel is set to renew on January 2019, which is 13 months from now, almost 14. So. For me to be able to change it before then, YouTube recently, within the past year or so, has given the right to each channel to unlink partnerships from their channel, like remove access, and that basically gives the content creator the power to determine who has access to his channel at any point in time. So even though like the contract isn't out, you can just remove access and they literally are not a private channel anymore. But by doing that, you then break the obviously contract with your partnership, which for my uh, current partnership, there's a clause that says if you break the contract, blah, 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 before it's had to renew or expire or whatever, that they basically can hold your payment until all action is closed. So I don't know exactly what that means. I've asked a lot of people. But anyways, with this new partnership, I'm going to be making 20% more uh, monthly, which is a huge margin. So even if I lose a month of pay, that's not that big a deal. So I decided to do it this month. So I'm going to lose potentially the month of pay I'm going to lose this month, which is right before the DLC where it's kind of, there wasn't really much going on, and that's why I haven't been uploading that much. Not because I only upload load for money, I've been doing YouTube for six years and barely made more than $100 a month up until a few months ago. So obviously, that's not like the sole purpose of not uploading, there's also just not anything to do in Destiny 2 right now, and you kind of have to force uploads. So I didn't really feel like forcing uploads, and I might not even get paid for this month, so there's really been no point for me uploading. But anyways, Going into the next month, I'll definitely start uploading a few days before December. That way to, you know, get my channel back going. Then all of December I'll be uploading daily every other day or several times a week, you know, with all the new DLC content and all kinds of stuff. I have a bunch of video videos I want to make before the DLC, which I'll probably do early December. That aren't really to do with the, with the DLC, but they're uh, about topics that not a lot of people know about. So it'll be pretty interesting, I think. I think that's basically all I wanted to say about that topic. So moving on, I just ordered my second PC, which is going to be my streaming, recording, editing, and all that good stuff PC. So I got this PC through CyberPower PC, which is the same uh, company I use to get my gaming PC. Like most pre-builds, they actually have pretty good deals, you just have to know how to look for them. Obviously I'm not sponsored, so I'm just saying a lot of people have this negative light on pre-builds, but if you know how to shop for them, and what, what time of year and whatnot to get them, they can actually be pretty good deals. So, this PC, let's look over the specs. It has a baller case that has some RGB on it. Just nice. And RGB lighting in it, which all this stuff was like free upgrades, so that's the only reason I really did it. I don't really care about RGB. It has a Ryzen 7 1700X, which is an 8 core at base 3.4 gigahertz up to 3.8 turbo. And it's only come with a uh, 10% overclocked already, so it's probably gonna run at 3.7-ish and go boost up to 4.1, which would be nice. Eight cores at that speed, which is basically what my gaming PC does, but only four cores, so literally double the speed, or I mean double the cores. Uh, some RGB fans, which I said was a bunch of promos they were doing. Why, uh, water cooling for the CPU for the 1700X. Then I have a, just a 120 gig SSD, which is mainly for the OS, and a 1 terabyte uh, hard drive. Comes with a keyboard, which I actually have one already of that keyboard. I don't use it, but they're they're pretty nice keyboards, and it was free, so. Just 8 gigs of RAM, because RAM is hell expensive right now. Might upgrade that in the future if I have issues with it, but it probably won't be that big a deal unless I'm like multitasking, like streaming and recording down the road. Which isn't gonna be for like half a year, anyways. Uh, comes with the mouse, which is actually the same mouse I'm using right now because my Razer one doesn't work that that well anymore. 800 watt power supply, overkill, but you know, those are the cheapest one. Then the video card is just a 1063 gig because I didn't have another video card laying around, so I actually needed um, a video card for this new PC. So I just got the 1063 gig. I'm not gonna be gaming on it. Not saying the 1063 gig can't game because that's what I actually use in my gaming PC, which is about a year old now, and it works really well, and it's a pretty good card for the price. 
And yeah, that's basically it for the new PC. Mainly got it for um, recording and rendering. Because right now, if I want to record a video with like, let's say, multiple uh, multiple short clips back to back to back, like recording multiple clips while in like patrol, crucible, whatever, while making a video, and when I record them back to back to back, while playing at the same time, my CPU gets overloaded and it takes a long time to encode the actual files. And so that means I have to wait for the encoding to be done before I can start recording again. If I go too quickly without letting them finish encoding, then I run the risk of the file being corrupted, which is pretty annoying right now. So this PC will definitely help with that. It'll be very nice. So some other things I'm doing personally right now is I'm planning on investing into Bitcoin starting next month and just go with that for a while and see how it goes. It's obviously exploding right now. It's been exploding like the past year. It's been exploding forever. It'll probably just keep it going up. Who knows? I'm not going to invest that much into an off the bat. I'm just going to see how it goes. It should be fun. I like those numbers. I like everything with numbers and all that. So it'll just be like a fun hobby. And, you know, if I make money off of it, I make money off of it. I mean, I play poker and gamble also on the side. I've won poker tournaments. So, you know, it's kind of in my line of things I've done before. Then one other thing is I have a new gaming related job. If you guys, for the people out there that know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, uh, you don't know. But I'm sure a lot of people can probably guess what it is. So I'm going to be doing that. Investing in Bitcoin. Uh, still doing YouTube videos, obviously. Got my two PC set up, which will come in mid-December. So I'll be setting that up. And eventually down the road when I get good and I'll be streaming. So there's kind of a bunch of things going on. Should be a fun year. Yeah, let's just see how it goes. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.